from a world that makes me want to cry Makes me want to die I can't escape ultimate lies Fuck okay. 
<laughs> well, it's the motherfuckers that be crisscrossing. <laughs> they don't fit them in script and shit. <laughs> if you gonna put shit on your dick, don't bring a shitty dick back to the land of pussy. <laughs>
wasting all their good pussy. It's a sad statement, fam. <laughs> it's sad. It really was going down. I miss pussy. Wow. No, I remember back in the day. The ain't man stole my wine. I'm gonna kick up with it. <laughs> but I remember when pussy was for dick and dick was for pussy. <laughs> remember them days it was a beautiful time. <laughs> Wasn't that long ago? Seventy, eighty, he'll come nine dick. Dick wanna go with dick, pussy wanna go with <laughs>
to Compton, nigga, to stay with my uncle Bucky. Let me explain this nigga to you. <laughs> this is my mother's youngest brother. <laughs> they born on the same day, November 12th. Both of them Scorpio. Which means they don't give a fuck about nobody else. Uh, and Scorpio's like that, nigga. They don't give a fuck about nobody but themselves. That's it, nigga. That's why they Scorpions, they'll stay here. <laughs> so I move in with this nigga, and my uncle Bucky is the gangster of the year. I mean, if they had the board show, that nigga would pick it up every year. He's a professional thief. He is a dope biller, a pimp. He has crime covered. <laughs> Been in and out of jail since he was 12. Nigga, when we see him is when he was getting out, he did the family union, looking all buck, good, shit. He'll be back in the next week. I'm <laughs> only used to tell me all the time. He does business. <laughs> Say, that nigga home is in Leavenworth. That nigga does business. <laughs> So I move in with this nigga, and the nigga shoot heroin, nigga, and when he shoot that shit, nigga, I ain't saying all, oh, cause you know, judge unless you be judge. You got to walk a mile in that nigga's shoes before you say all. Oh. I mean, here's a motherfucker who killed a bunch of motherfuckers, got shot at, robbed this, that, and the other, pimped all kind of hoes and whatnot. Nigga, he might have so much ill shit in his mind, he need to escape. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm understanding where you're going. You're like, nigga, I need to get away from me for <laughs> Cause I'm fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So I move in with this nigga, man, and when he get on that shit, he get to stuttering. Nigga, it take a fucking hour for him to say a sickness. <laughs>
ground. When girls was coming down the slime board, I was the one standing right at the end of Because I was trying to see if the little ones had to throw too. <laughs> That's my family. That's what made a nigga funny shit. Comedy is always mixed with what they call tragedy. But the tragedy to me, nigga, that was just life. Huh? Like some weed, he said. Like some weed. Oh, yeah, that's what I should do. Famous nigga on stage at tea time. Lighting the joint. Going to jail for 30 days.
Never the cows in the saddle. Never the cows in the pen. Only one time I did nothing. Only one time I did nothing. Nigga, I ain't figured out if 
God in a motherfucking existence. Because if he did, nigga, he has some better living than this. <laughs> Mystery of life. Why? Did your grandmother think he really is there? I don't know. Still trying to figure it out, cause if he the good guy, then why they make him a thing so fucked up? Then they say it's the devil's fault. Mm-hmm. Well, who made the devil? God made the motherfucker. Y'all the one that had to argue. We got to deal with the motherfucker just because y'all argue. That don't even make no goddamn sense. That would piss me off, shit. Man, that motherfucker down here. I tell you what, Eddie, I think the devil and God is the same motherfucker. <laughs> Tell his wife, go down there, fix the house. 
lace up in the back in a room with a whole lot of pads on. But anyway, man, I was talking about Michael motherfucking ass with Paul McCartney Leo. <laughs> this motherfucker so shrewd that he on the video with motherfucker Paul and walks up to him. Paul, you want to sell, sell the bills? How much would you sell the bills for? Oh, I don't know, my oh yeah. Oh no, about you. Eight million dollars, you know, seven to eight million. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little smooth criminal. He wasn't bullshit, he said. It's a smooth criminal. This little smooth criminal walks away, goes in his train, gets his motherfucking business people on the phone. 70 million, buy him. <laughs> buy him fucking now. Now! Buy him fucking now! <laughs> Uh, 
talk show? Yes, sir. Welcome to the talk show. <laughs> and I let the thing bring out uh, my son, Michael. And uh, the Tantangela family. Uh, the Tantangela family has got beaten with the screen greenies. <laughs> Today on the, uh, the Godfather show, we're going to let them go at it. We'll be right back after this message. Yeah. <laughs> well, my fucking gangsters don't talk, man. You know what I'm saying? Mike, smooth criminal. Don King, another smooth criminal. You know what I'm saying? Beat a nigga to death with a fat, then become the biggest promoter on planet Earth. How cold is that, nigga? Hey, don't throw this hair. <laughs>
I don't know why you want to get his dick some, but that fed up your bitch. But uh, let's go to Baby Anna for detail. Yeah, 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 check this out. Uh, look, you know, they up in the old logs and shit, you know what I'm saying? She's a secretary, so he's like, hey, bitch, take dictation. You know what I'm saying? Take dictation. You know what I'm saying? So she started doing dictation on the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? He realized when they got the cameras and shit all up in that room, they watch everything the president do up with this bitch, you know what I'm saying? So one of the security guards, you know, he dropped dime and shit for a little payoff on the side. Shit, that's how the shit hit the media. So I'm talking about the shit right now. <laughs> Thanks, baby animal. You know, uh, in closing, I'd just like to say, if he had a black woman, he wouldn't have had no problems. Because his sister wouldn't have talked. He's a black man on his ass. That's why they call him black man. <laughs> with black in America? Susie, did you know this? <laughs> Put a little light on Susie. We need to see her. Huh? Susie, come on. You didn't know that? Every day is black, you know what I'm saying? It was Black Monday when the stock market crashed. Black Monday. Black Monday is just bad. I blacked out. <laughs> he tried to blackmail me. It was the darkest day of my life. He used black magic. What kind of bullshit is that? Black is a beautiful thing. Understand where we are today. <laughs> Ain't no more. Y'all can't throw that negative vibe on us. Everything white is good. <laughs> Go to the White House. <laughs> Please pick up the white courtesy phone. <laughs> Follow the white line. <laughs> Like me, 
but it's about an international superstar and my brother's here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's my trainer. He getting me ready for this next movie. I'll start next week. You bad motherfucker. Oh, y'all see a little short Asian man that's just walking by him. Don't be trying to be a bad motherfucker getting bad. <laughs> shit. I seen him do some shit, nigga. Run up walls, jump over there. I was like, all right. <laughs>
the Italian came over there and discovered it and renamed it Africa. But it's called the Cuban line. And we were still in the Cuban line. Who wants to leave Cuba? All the gold, all the diamonds, the best motherfucking weather. The animals there are the best animals on planet Earth. Why? Because you gotta go to fucking Africa to get animals to fill your fucking zoos up so you can go and look at us. I mean, who the fuck is going to a zoo to see a buffalo or a deer? But you're going to see a lion, a tiger, an elephant, or all that shit from Africa. Lions just like niggas. They didn't ask to come in. I know that walk. It's the same walk the nigga have in jail. <laughs> we want to leave the leave the richest motherfucking continent on earth. This country right now would fall through the motherfucking economic cracks if it wasn't for South Africa's motherfucking diamonds and gold. <laughs> Our homeland finances this shit. Right. We built this shit. <laughs> and now that we're done building it, y'all want us to leave. Well, I'm those niggas are so angry. that they had with us when slavery went down, every slave would get what? 40 years in the world. How many niggas are there now? <laughs> Anything else other than white, that's your ass. I'm a lion. I'm looking at y'all. 
My two Latino brothers, you know, posing as white folks is cool. <laughs> Do your little sneaky shit. Huh? Huh? Oh, Indian. Oh, well, shit, y'all always been down with us. <laughs> That's my brother, he never was a brother. Yeah, because when slavery was over, where the fuck you think niggas went? We went and hung out with the Indians on the fucking planet. <laughs>
Because I used to have the bag in my life, baby, look, I, I, I want you to come to L.A. and stay with me, nigga, because entertainment shit is not a snake, motherfuckers, and you can't trust motherfuckers, so I need family around right now. So I was like, yo, I, I want you to come out. Seven years, that nigga would come out. <laughs> Wouldn't accept a dime from me. That nigga worked three jobs to take care of his wife and three kids. Nigga, I had to sneak. <laughs> I used to have to sneak money through that, through that nigga through moms, because he's that proud with his shit. You know, I'd be damn moms, you know, make sure that make the way to that nigga. <laughs> so, uh, uh, not until I called that nigga, I said, I need you in L.A. He said, that's different. Wanting is one thing. Needing is a totally different thing. That nigga showed up. And put it down at the sense. That's my road thing. Because if you can't trust family, you can't trust a motherfucking thing. I know when I leave here tonight, he got my money. Because <laughs> that money is our money. <laughs> hey, he got it covered. Nigga, count again. That's my brother you talking about, nigga. That nigga raised me on the streets. Nigga, uh -uh. the count again. <laughs> You know what that nigga went through to get you here, nigga? Nigga had to count again. That nigga went to jail five times. <laughs> so no broken houses. He did it all, nigga. Went to the Navy. What the fuck? Yeah, I got married when I was 16. Oh, nigga, I grew up early. I told you I was gone at 14. Get out. <laughs> I love moms does it draw to this day for doing such. Cause it made me the motherfucker I am that day. <laughs> A true gangster in the gangster sense. <laughs> Kicking Hollywood all up twinks they butt cheeks. <laughs> and that ain't easy to do. <laughs> Been able to stay true and be a nigga throughout. That's why it's taking a nigga this long, nigga, because I could have made it a long time ago if I'd have sold out. Hey! You know what I mean? be like, whoa, there's a new kid in town. Every group and he's phenomenal. Look at him. Go, nigga, go. A nigga be like, eh, fuck you. Yeah. No, it's never. <laughs> you gotta break it, make it hard. Make it difficult. Break it, break it. <laughs> I ain't been able to break a nigga yet. You know what I'm saying? They'll run out of money before I run out of funny. <laughs> Just make a nigga want to dance, don't it? <laughs> hey, we got an after party somewhere. Where the after party gonna be at?
grunt is doing something. They spoke came. Hey, where the fuck y'all go? <laughs> Nigga, I didn't say I was dumb. Are oh, you going backstage? Oh, you do got to hook up. No wonder your ass sitting on a motherfucker on your step on the stage. You like, fuck the dough. Got magic blue shoes and blue pants, blue shirt. Nigga, that nigga blue. <laughs> They're being charged overtime because I'm here. That's what I'm saying. Worldwide. Hey, you want worldwide? They can afford it. Worldwide. I'm fucking with y'all, dog. Put the glue back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Cause you know, most motherfuckers come through 40 minutes. Nigga, I come, I be trying to do three hours. <laughs> so, I got a lot of motherfucking shit to say. <laughs> and I ain't never wrote a joke in my life. Nigga, I be hearing comedians tell me, like, yeah, man, I'm writing this new bit. Right? <laughs> nigga, if you're funny, nigga, just get on the mic. Well, before I walked on the stage, I didn't know what the fuck I was gonna say this year. <laughs> and now that I'm there and done, I still don't remember what the fuck I can say. <laughs> That's the real motherfucking deal. You know what I'm Fuck that motherfucking bullshit, nigga. I'll tell you another fucking story. <laughs> Last night, nigga, I'm in the motherfucking room. You know, nigga been on tour for like the last two months, nigga. And y'all really like second to the last city. Tomorrow is the last city. And tonight I want to thank y'all from my heart. For being here, because we filming this, is my concert film. <laughs> now tell me, tell me they ain't gonna get a real film off this motherfucker. <laughs> gonna be some upset motherfuckers when they see this one. This was too much. <laughs> What does he mean? White House, high, very holy, small. <laughs> I'm sitting at the crib the other night, looking at my nuts. <laughs> now, if you know when you're faded, you know what I mean? You just sit there looking at your nuts. <laughs> And fellas, y'all know, they move by themselves. I'm sitting there, there's always one going up, the other one going down. I said, look at them, they have it. Just move around. Then I got to tripping, I was like, it must be rough being sperm. Especially in a motherfucker sack that ain't getting no pussy. Sperm down there. Nigga, I'm supposed to be going somewhere. <laughs> Got me down here. Nigga, it's crowded. <laughs> I feel, nigga, it's tight. It's tight. So tight, nigga. There ain't no wrinkles in your sack. <laughs>
pretty sons like that, man. Nigga, they come out, motherfucker got a condom on. <laughs> I didn't fight back up. This ain't it, back up. I can see it. I'm <laughs> saying you finally consummate your relationship. And you having sex without a condom, right? And the motherfuckers come out. <laughs> look at him, look at him. <laughs> Actual pussy, look at that. Come on, y'all. Oh, I know the way, nigga, I know the way. <laughs> and they start dropping one by one, nigga. Set up. <laughs> this bitch is on the pill. <laughs> I'm in.